Hey, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, bringing you guys a video to discuss with you guys the age-old question for you guys out there that want to become commentators on YouTube, especially for gaming. Um, is it worth it your time to become a commentator? And uh, and I, I get asked this question all the time. I figured I'd do a video on it to maybe break down some of the costs that you guys maybe don't see as somebody that is a gamer um, and that posts videos on YouTube. So uh, I'm going to break down the costs of the first year it takes basically to make it into YouTube and what it will cost you as an individual uh, time and money. So let's uh, let's get into it. The very first thing is obviously you need to have like an Xbox 360 or a PS3. Uh, I know that the cheaper ones are like $199. Um, the more expensive ones are, are $299 or $399 I believe is the highest. Um, but you need an Xbox to get started. Now I realize some of these original startup costs, uh, a lot of you guys actually already have most of these things. But there are a couple that you probably don't have. And um, let's uh, let's keep going. So the next one is games. You obviously need to make sure you, you get the latest and greatest games. Uh, if you're just a, a hardcore Call of Duty player, you need to be sure you have the the, the oldest and the newest Call of Duties most likely um, because you're going to probably want to post a variety on your channel. Now, this isn't specifically for those people that want to play Call of Duty. This is pe for people that want to play any games. And you can get by with just playing posting one game that you really, really like depends on on your gameplays and everything else but that's a whole nother um, subject I'm just going over the actual cost now there's DLCs for some of the games as well uh, that's downloadable contents um, you know Call of Duty has extra maps and all that other jazz uh, for the older games and then the newer games and so it adds up quite a bit in price um, an HD PVR this is a device that you record your gameplays on you plug in your uh, Xbox to this then you plug this into your computer and then you can actually record your gameplay. So $175, and that's probably a cost that most of you guys um, would incur since you don't have, since you already have most of the other things, this would be the one thing that you don't have. Uh, speaking of the PC you're plugging into, you can plug into a PC or a Mac. The price ranges are roughly from $600 to $1,200, and Mac is $900 to $1,800, depending on which ones you're buying. Um, and you can go either, either way, I'm sure it would be fine. Now there's a caveat to that. Uh, one, if you end up going with Mac, you need to get ITV to be compatible with the HD PVR software. Um, so, so I, excuse me, this is a software for the hardware of the HD PVR. I know it's confusing, but uh, but you do need this if you have a Mac. The positive side, if you have a Mac, you get iMovie automatically for free, and iMovie is the software that you use to go ahead and do the commentaries over top of, and then you can render the videos and then post them to YouTube. For PC, it comes with a software for the HD PVR, but it does not come with editing software, so you can't put commentary over it uh, unless you have something like Sony Vegas, which costs roughly $45 for a really cheap version, up to $600 for the pro version. Now, I know there's a lot of you guys that are savvy kids out there, and you guys can probably get these uh, software from BitTorrents, but um, I mean, if, if you're looking at the actual cost, so this is what it would be. Uh, the other thing is headphones. I mean, uh, wireless headphones or wired head headphones where you can uh, sound whore those little kids on Call of Duty or whatever it might be. Um, a lot of people like to have headphones when they're gaming. It's just a more focused approach. And uh, and yeah, I think it's important. My dogs are snoring in the background again as we, as we do these commentaries always. Um, let's get into the next one. So another startup cost would be a PS3 uh, possibly or an Xbox 360 if you don't have both because as you're making it as a commentator, your subscribers will want you to play the other platform, and it will be potentially another cost that you'll have to 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 incur down the line. So it's just another one of those things. Um, if you're successful within the first year, this will definitely be something that you're going to have to invest in, which is another 300 bucks. Then you're looking at the games for the other con console as well. But if you look at here, this is the, the breakdown. This is the low end and the high end breakdown of the costs for either Xbox uh, 360 or uh, PS3 or both. Um, and the games and everything else. So some of you guys might have some of the stuff. Again, some of you might not. But realistically, it's going to cost roughly $1,100 to start out being a commentator, up to $3,000 to just, again, start out as being a commentator. That that doesn't include any time it takes to do the commentaries. It doesn't include any time to get the gameplays. Now let's look at that a little bit. So consider the hours you spent playing on a game and consider the U.S. minimum wage uh, which is $7.25 an hour. So if you spend two hours to four hours a day gaming, you're looking at roughly the cost that it would cost you to be gaming would be $14.50 to $29. That's how much you'd have to make per hour that you're gaming. 
uh, to be able to to make to justify the fact that you're playing a game for two hours instead of working a, a regular job. Um, and again, this is just a breakdown. This isn't exact science, but this is a breakdown rough roughly of what it could cost daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly um, that that you'd have to make as a YouTube commentator to be able to pay back the time difference that you're spending playing games. So every month you're going to need at least make two hundred ninety dollars to five hundred and eighty dollars just to cover your cost of playing your video games. Now, let's look at one more thing. You have tons of hours spending editing the videos and uploading those videos to YouTube. And depending on how slow the, the upload is on YouTube, it can take a, a darn long time, along with how long uh, it takes you to render your videos, depending on how well of a computer and how fast of a computer you have. Um, so you're also looking at roughly the same breakdown. I mean, two hours a day of editing videos, and this is from a part-time perspective versus maybe closer to a full-time, of four hours a day editing videos. And the same costs, I would say, apply because you're spending about the same time editing the videos as you are trying to chase down and get gameplays. Um, you know, and, and it could vary from person to person. Some people can get gameplays right away whether they're doing a walkthrough or a let's play. So again, these, these numbers can vary, but just uh, throwing these numbers out as rough numbers. So total hours spent on YouTube to basically make videos get the gameplays and then put them on YouTube, you're looking at roughly a part-time versus a full-time job, four hours a day versus eight hours a day, and then uh, yearly, um, 960 hours roughly for part-time. And I put in 2080 because that's the the standard. Anytime you want to multiply uh, whatever your hourly rate is times 2080, that's your annual salary. And that's just a formula that that's out there, that's been out there for forever. So 2080 is, is the magic number for that. So you're roughly going to be, you need to be able to make at least close to $7,000 a year as a part-time person that posts videos on YouTube and is hopefully successful enough uh, to, to offset the amount of time you put into making the videos. Uh, so by putting videos on YouTube uh, on a full-time basis, when you're working on stuff eight hours a day roughly, between gaming and, and again, everything, uh, you're looking at a fifteen thousand dollar a year job, and I mean, consider like McDonald's or something like that. I'm sh and and the minimum wage is again seven twenty five. Um, that's how much money you'd have to be making to offset your costs. So let's look at one more thing. So your total investment uh, in time and money on YouTube from the initial startup costs to the daily, weekly, monthly, yearly breakdown. Uh, you look at the bottom number. Your total time um, and total cost for part-time and a full-time uh, YouTube commentator would be between $8,139 and $18,000. So you basically have to make enough money to cover $18,000 for your first year in YouTube to be able to like justify putting up videos every single day or working, working that many hours. Uh, versus versus a, a regular job, so that's a lot of money to, to be made. Now, there's a lot of people that make a lot more money than that on YouTube. Uh, what I'm just presenting to you guys is the 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 cost, the hidden cost that you guys probably don't see of what it costs to make YouTube videos. Now, people like FPS Russia, who gets paid probably lots and lots of on hundreds of thousands of dollars. You don't know how much he really makes, but he gets hundred like millions of views per video. Uh, 30 million views on some of the videos. Like that's a lot of money. But he, his cost for making those videos is extremely high as well. He he blows a lot of things up. He uses a lot of expensive guns. He, the ammo that he uses in in those videos can cost hundreds of dollars. So um, so that that stuff needs to be considered as well. Let's uh, look at one more slide here. We'll keep going. Channel growth. So this is another thing to to be considered. Um, if you're starting off, let's say you have, and these are this is assuming you have fairly successful channels. Um, I know that it takes sometimes six months, five you know five six eight months to even be able to hit 100 subscribers. So, but but if uh, if you're looking at basically, I, and I guess I'm bringing this down annually. So if you hit 12,000 subscribers annually, um, you you and roughly somewhere in between the lines of three million views, like that's that's a decent amount of money. And I can't really discuss how much money. And I know that that's the part you guys are looking for, but check out socialblade.com. It is kind of a breakdown of the income uh, of people on YouTube and how much money they could potentially be making. And I, the numbers are skewed really, really far left and right. So it's really hard to tell uh, where and how much the people actually make, but they are in between that that range of, of numbers. 
Um, I would say on the lower 50% of that range is realistically what they're actually making. Could be a lower 30% of the range is actually what they're actually taking home. Um, but but just to get an idea, if this is a successful person on YouTube, I don't even think that this would cover your guys' cost uh, every every year. And, and so if you had 12,000 subscribers and you get a total of 3 million video views on average per year, that's still not going to be enough money to cover your startup costs. So consider that uh, if your startup costs are a lot lower, consider your time involved with making videos and if, if it's going to be worth it or not spending all your time. So I guess in closing, is is YouTube worth your time? And and I would say no, not if you are just in it for the money. Um, if you're just in it for the money, it's it's a really, really big uphill battle to be able to start making enough money to justify the time that you're spending in putting uh, on these videos. So consider that. Uh, on a side note, if if uh, this can be definitely be a successful side business for you, uh, it can be very um, fruitful, as I say here, uh, if you're dedicated, patient, lucky, and and you have original content, there's lots of lots of uh, tips out there to try to grow your channel and be successful. But hopefully, you guys found this uh, video insightful. To those people always asking, um, I just think it's important you guys know that the cost of of being a commentator is is not it's not light. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of effort to be able to to post videos on a daily basis for you guys to be able to watch. So. Um, I don't know. Hopefully you guys, again, found it insightful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to you guys and uh, answer anything you guys have. So uh, have a good day, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks.